Food. It's something we encounter on a daily basis, and we usually tend to think of it as a pretty menial mundane thing. However, there have been plenty of crazy new food technologies. Singapore, for example, just recently gave the legal go-ahead to lab-grown meat to be used for human consumption. Such technologies may seem far-fetched, but there are other insane developments in the science of food. Stick around to learn about these recent developments. Singapore's lab-grown protein. The San Francisco-based company Eat Just has been experimenting with what's called cultured meat. Cultured meat is the meat that is grown in a lab from animal muscle cells. Their product was approved for consumption in Singapore. This product, which is cultured chicken, will be used in chicken nuggets according to Eat Just, although it's unknown when. Eat Just does face challenges in the future, though, with their biggest challenge potentially being the cost of cultured meats. According to Eat Just, their nuggets would sell for $50 each. Although the price has gradually fallen, the other challenge Eat Just faces is, of course, the reaction of consumers. With Singapore's adoption, however, this will potentially help consumers accept cultured meat. 3D Printed Food 3D printed are an example of a technology that has, for the most part, become relatively commonplace and well-known. An interesting extension of this, however, is the idea of creating food through 3D printers. Generally, 3D printing food works through inserting raw materials, like doughs, sauces, cheeses, frostings, etc., which is then extruded onto a surface. This seemingly simple combination of materials, however, can create a vast array of foods. This technology is still in its infancy and hasn't seen a lot of commercial use, but there are exceptions. In London in 2016, a restaurant was open called Food Inc. Food Inc. originally only sold 3D printed food, but their use of 3D printing expanded to the point where all furniture within the restaurant is 3D printed. Nutraceuticals. The COVID pandemic has affected an insane amount of different industries and has changed several fundamentals. One area the pandemic has affected is nutrition and food. Consumers are more concerned with a healthy diet and meeting their nutritional needs for optimal health. Nutraceuticals aim to do this through diet. Products like probiotics and prebiotics help promote microfauna growth in the digestive system. Other products like different protein powders powders can help support bodily function and supplement exercise regimens, another thing that has seen an increase following the pandemic. Food startups such as Farmhand Organics aim to capitalize on this demand by producing organic fermented vegetables and other probiotic compounds such as kimchi and sauerkraut. E-commerce. Another development in food technologies is the surge in e-commerce, again, following the pandemic. All e-commerce has seen an increase in popularity due to the ease and accessibility as well as the lack of interaction. Many restaurants and food brands began to utilize different methods of delivering food to customers, whether through third-party apps such as Uber Eats and DoorDash or by providing in-house delivery. An additional development is the rise of so-called ghost kitchens. Ghost kitchens aren't a new idea, but they came far more relevant over the pandemic. Ghost kitchens are kitchens with no dine-in options, only allowing for delivery. Many larger companies took advantage of ghost kitchens to produce food, which they then delivered. It seems that both ghost kitchens and food delivery will become far more prevalent in the upcoming decade. Personalized nutrition. Going hand-in-hand -hand with nutraceuticals is the idea of personalized nutrition that is getting more and more steam. As consumers are having more and more concern regarding their diet, they've begun to seek out nutrition that is specialized to them. This has taken the form of things such as personalized protein powders and at-home tests that let users see just exactly how their diet is working and if it fits their unique profile. NGX is an example of a personal nutrition company. NGX offers users different tests. With the test data, the company then creates a product specialized to meet that user's needs, plant-based foods. Along with the growth that cultured meats have seen, another food industry that has been seeing growth is the plant-based food industry. In 2020, the poultry and meat alternative industry was worth around $1.3 billion and is expected to grow by over $2 billion by 2024. Beef is projected to be the biggest category, followed by pork and then chicken. Along with plant-based meats, however, plant-based dairy and egg alternatives have seen both growth and more widespread acceptance. Companies like Incognito and Beyond Meat continue to see growth as plant-based foods become more and more commonplace, especially in younger generations such as Millennials and Gen Z. So far, we've covered some new developments in food technology, like the rise of plant-based foods and nutrients. Pharmaceuticals. Following the pandemic especially, consumers are becoming more and more keen on what they put into their bodies and its effects on their bodies, which has led to the acceptance of things like personalized nutrition. But there are some newer, more fringe technologies like 3D printed food and lab-grown meats. Be sure to stick around to learn about even more crazy food technologies. Shape-shifting pasta. Traditionally, after pasta is made, the pasta is then dried before being boiled at home. However, shipping this pasta can pose a few issues, namely trying to stack all the pasta during shipping, as the pasta is in one rigid shape, it can be difficult to move a large amount of it. A workaround has been discovered, however. Pasta that can change shape when it's boiled. MIT's Tangible Media Group produced pasta that is a flat sheet, similar to lasagna, but when the pasta is boiled, it will change shape. They can change into a variety of shapes, from more conventional pasta shapes like shells and elbows to more exotic forms like flowers. Designer Fruits Fruit has historically been domesticated and then bred to bring out particular traits, similar to how we've domesticated and then bred animals in the past. Examples of fruit that have been designed for a 
particular need is the golden arctic apple, a golden delicious apple that won't discolor when oxygenated. Farmers in California also managed to make grapes that taste like cotton candy, which has grown to become fairly popular. Japan in particular has seen a surge in their designer fruit, with fruits like ruby roman grapes, heart-shaped watermelons, and strawberries that are the size of tennis balls, becoming popular in the East Asian country. Edible plastic. Plastic waste is a huge problem we face in the modern age. However, a potential solution to this problem may have been found. Researchers at Yale University found a fungi that can break down polyurethane plastics into an edible substance, although the process is expectedly insanely complex. The plastic is first sterilized by UV light, then placed in a chamber where it's mixed with seaweed agar, starch, and sugar. Fungal sprouts covered in liquid hydrogen are then introduced where, over the course of several months, they break the plastic down into something edible. However, this plastic is tasteless and the process is expensive, but is expected to continue to develop further. Eating insects. Insects have been proposed as an addition to diets for a long time now, for the variety of benefits eating the small animals would bring. Insects are far easier to raise than more traditional livestock and are rich in nutrients. The biggest problem dietary bugs face, though, is convincing consumers to actually eat them. Many people are turned off by bugs, much less than the thought of eating them. This hasn't stopped many restaurants and even farms from cropping up that produce bugs to eat. Many cultures in the East already eat insects, so it may not be much further off until insects become a more widespread dietary staple. High pressure processing. Keeping food edible and extending shelf life has been an issue faced by humanity since the dawn of society. Early people would do things such as smoke, salt, and ferment foods to keep them edible for longer, and these solutions remain in use, though to a lesser extent, even today. More modern methods like pasteurization are effective, but a new idea is that of high-pressure processing. High-pressure processing uses pressures of 300 to 600 MPA, more pressure than found at the deepest point of the ocean, to kill microorganisms and ensure food safety. More importantly, though, due to the simplicity of this process, it doesn't affect the end's product taste to or texture, an issue which other methods face. Vertical farming. Producing food is a very resource-intensive process, with an insane amount of land we use being dedicated solely to food production. In fact, 50% of all land humans use is set aside solely for agriculture. A solution to this intense resource use is the idea of vertical farming, essentially creating buildings that stack farms on top of one another. Although they're relatively uncommon today, they're becoming more and more commonplace. There are currently over 50 vertical farms in Japan and in Chicago. A farm was recently built in a building that used to be an industrial building. The benefits of vertical farming are obvious, with vertical farms reducing space, allowing for year-round growth, as no pests are present. Food technology is growing more and more complex and cutting edge. Technologies such as lab-grown meats, personalized nutrition, plant-based meats, and 3D printed foods are quickly changing what foods we eat. Likewise, ideas such as insect farming, vertical farms, and e-commerce are changing how we produce food. Food technology will surely only continue to develop. So what do you think of all these developments? Leave your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching.